Facebook Reels has recently expanded to 150 countries for both iOS and Android users. And it has opened another way for businesses to reach new audiences, drive traffic, and build a following, much like Instagram Reels, this time natively in Facebook. You can create a Facebook Reel from scratch on Facebook's mobile app, and Brandy shows us how to do this in a previous video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't yet. Building on that, if you are planning to use FB Reels to promote your business's product or service, aside from making Reels directly on Facebook, you're going to want to add variety in your type of Reels and tap into your visually creative side to publish high-quality design compositions. And in this video, we're going to do just that, as I'm going to show you how to design a Facebook Reel using Canva. Hello and welcome back to our channel. This is Jellywood Life Marketing, a digital marketing agency committed to helping small businesses grow. Before I show you how you can use Canva to design your Facebook Reels, be sure to click the subscribe button and to hit that notification bell icon to get updated every time we upload our business growing videos. There are many reasons why Canva is great for creating visuals, both static and moving. Need to add a video? You can upload your own or use their stock video library. Have a product photo you want to add to a design? Canva can remove its background for you so you don't have to manually crop it. Want to add sounds, stock images, or graphic elements? They have a huge library for each of those too. Canva has proven to be a one-stop tool for creating eye-popping visuals and it's perfect for creating Facebook Reels for your business. On Canva's homepage, click on the video button here in the center of the page, scroll to the right and select Instagram Reels video. So you're probably wondering why I'm recommending the Instagram Reels option in the video tab when we're making Facebook Reels. There's two reasons. First is IG and FB Reels have the exact same dimensions. But second and more importantly, in Canva, anything under the videos tab in their homepage when selected is programmed to load your canvas with their video editing timeline instead of the standard Canva design interface with the separate design pages. There's no option for Facebook Reels as of yet, but the Instagram Reels option is basically the same format of 1080 by 1920. So here's what the standard Canva design interface looks like. Each page represents a design, but they can also be saved together into a video where each page represents a slide or scene in your video. And here's what Canva's design interface with the video editing timeline looks like. You have more video editing options here than if you made a video composition using the standard design interface. For example, you can split a scene in two like this, and this is great for when you want an element to appear in a specific timestamp. Also, you can add audio and adjust where it goes like this. Overall, you'll have better control over the exact flow of your video when you're using their video editing timeline. Once you have the Instagram Reels option in the video tab selected and your canvas with the video editing interface is loaded, you can now proceed to designing your Facebook Reels. Before you do though, Think of what your Reels purpose is. Do you want to feature a specific product? Showcase a customer review? Are you sharing some tips or are you announcing a sale? The possibilities are endless, but you do want to know what your Reel is about before you start designing something that will complement its purpose. Hello! We just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. After managing millions of dollars of ad spend for thousands of small businesses and creating thousands of social posts to help businesses connect with their customers, we know how to get results. And we want to help small businesses get results too. So we've decided to give away our knowledge, learning experiences, resources, tools, and feedback to help you achieve results for your digital marketing efforts. If you want to learn the blueprint for success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, get access to all the tools that you'll need, and get live expert guidance from yours truly. Stop what you're doing and sign up for our coaching program today. For this guide, let's say we want to feature a customer review. You can either start from scratch or use any of the available templates here on the left side of the screen and then swap elements out with things relevant to your brand, as well as add your own images, logo, and adjust it to your brand's colors. Type review on the search bar and it will then show you multiple review templates you can choose from and start with. Let's start with this one. As we've done in previous guides, we're using our mock brand Coffee Cat, so I'm going to adjust our design to fit our brand better, starting with the background. I want to use a video of someone drinking coffee, so I'm going to look for one in the videos tab. Then at this point, you can play around with different graphic elements that you want to try out and see which works best. Now let's say I want to add a second scene to this reel. Simply click on the plus button here and you'll have a new blank slide. I'm just going to go ahead and change the background color to something on brand. I want the slide to feature the product the review the first scene was talking about. So let's load in our product image. Great. 
Now I'm just going to go and add a few graphic elements from the elements tab to our reel as well as add our logo. Now I want to add transitions to it so I'll click on the animate button and select a preset animation I like. Now currently our second slide runs for 5 seconds. If you want to adjust a scene's duration, hover your mouse over the left or right side of the scene in the timeline here and drag it to the length you want. For this one, let's have it run for 7 seconds instead of 5. Next, we can also add music to our reels here on the audio tab and drag it into our timeline as well as adjust it to play throughout our video, like this. Once you're done, you can preview everything before you save by clicking on the play button here and once you're happy with the result, you can go ahead and save to an mp4 file. When creating your Facebook Reels with Canva, be sure you're following your brand colors, your fonts, and everything in your visual branding guide. Don't be afraid to have fun and get creative with how you make your real compositions and make them how you see would best complement your brand. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions regarding Facebook Reels, be sure to leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks to grow your business. Once again, this is Jelly from Life Marketing, and I will see you in the next one.